Hello everyone and welcome back to another educational video about Naples and its region, Campania. In today's video we will take a look at all things Neapolitan, the culture of Campania, Naples and its neighbours to get to know more about the way of life in and around Napoli. We will discover its customs, traditions and beliefs, also studying its unique style, art, architecture, religion, geography and economy and of course its language. We hope that you can appreciate the video that we've carefully put together so that you can see the passion, the fascination and the interesting way of life for an everyday Neapolitan. Let's take a look. Neapolitan people are very proud people indeed and why shouldn't they be? They have produced so many beautiful works of food, art and culture and gave it to the world that alone would make it hard for them to just blend into the background. They are known to have a great sense of community and can always be seen supporting one another. Whether it's a catastrophe, just like the tragic event of Mount Vesuvius at Pompeii, or worldwide pandemics like the recent one in 2020, devastating their country, where one could see the spirit of the Neapolitan singing from the balconies, just as high-spirited and musical as the origins of the siren that sang a song and died under the Castel d'Ovo, in the origin of their great city. Family means everything to them, and it can be seen in everyday life. The relationships that they hold are deep and meaningful, for apart from God, there is no other importance than family in their lives. Many religions are among the people, but Christianity is of great importance to them and can be seen in their beautiful churches, festivals that they hold every year, even to their own homes and pave down the streets with shrines lining their city. Though their love for God is important, Neapolitans also have another religion at heart, the religion of football. Many are so passionate for their football team their love of their players dressed in their colours, singing anthems of the fans and the thrill of the game that they keep so close to their hearts. Another secret though is that when it comes to it they can seem quite superstitious. Using their hands they indicate a superstitious sign and some use tarot cards, interpret dreams and numbers to look for omens and signs that might greatly influence their lives. The patron saint of Naples is San Gennaro in whose cathedral has blood that is preserved in a liquid in the solid state, which tradition says that was the saint's blood that melts three times a year. Neapolitans love to have a great time and entertain themselves. They do this in many ways, some now even becoming popular in all parts of the world. They gave birth to Tombola, a game played around Christmas, to spend time with your family. It's a traditional board game, first played in the city of Naples in the 18th century. It is similar to the game of bingo. Another entertaining game that they love to play is scopa, which means sweep, using their own deck of cards native to Naples. Mercante in Fiera is another great Neapolitan card game that uses two decks and is also played as a family at Christmas time. Another form of entertainment comes from their famous Polushinella a classical character that originated in Commedia dell'arte in the 17th century and became a character in Neapolitan puppetry, created specifically to be the star of southern Italy. He is described as the voice of the people, as the direct expression of a people as lively and spirited just like the Neapolitans. Pulicinella's versatility in status and attitude has captivated audiences worldwide and kept the character popular in countless forms since his introduction to Commedia dell'arte. Speaking of theatre and the entertainment industry, we must mention the unique and important style of neo-melodic music that draws on Naples' long history of street entertainment and la sceneggiata napoletana. Neo-melodica music is a celebration for those involved and is used to reference politics and other matters. The language mainly used in neo-melodica is Neapolitan. In order to communicate efficiently to their crowds, the music needs to be sung in the dialect spoken in different variants from the southern parts of Lazio all over Campania and into northern parts of Calabria. The nuisances, remarks and jokes would probably get lost if the songs were sung in Italian. A few attempts have been made to Italianize the Nia Melodica but it seems the artists always go back to their mother tongue instead, which shows the great importance of the Neapolitan language and the spirit of the Neapolitan people. In many parts of Italy, listening to music sung in Neapolitan is unthinkable and although the Neapolitan artists translate their songs into Italian to reach a bigger crowd and a higher income, the Neapolitan style shines through 
since the music sounds different from all other styles in Italy, and thus apparently scares away the new listeners, out of fear from being revealed as a fan of Neo Melodica. A style that for reasons beyond its performers, oftentimes great talent is considered a shame. This, in turn, has led to many restaurant owners in Italy to forbid their performers to perform this music. With music comes dance, and a dance that stands out very much in the traditional Neapolitan scene is the Tamoriata, which is a group of various folk dances that can be identified by its upbeat tempo and use of tambourines during the dance. The Neapolitan Tarantella is a courtship dance performed by couples, whose rhythms, melodies, gestures and accompanying songs are quite distinct, featuring faster, more cheerful music. When you're tired from all the dancing and need a shot of energy, then Naples is the perfect place to go for a coffee, because of its coffee culture. Coffee came to Naples late compared to other major Italian cities. When it first arrived in the late 18th century, in fact, the superstitious population considered the bitter drink bad luck. Today, however, Naples is one of the coffee culture capitals of the world. A kind gesture and tradition can be found amongst the many cafes in and around the streets of Naples. The gesture named a caffè sospeso, or pending coffee, which is a cup of coffee paid for in advance for the next person as an anonymous act of charity. This just shows the thought for others and the community spirit that we mentioned earlier. While caffè alla napoletana is traditionally enjoyed at home, it's now replaced by the speedy espresso in bars and cafes. However, the making of coffee at home is now done using a special coffee machine called a mocha machine that was created by the Neapolitans which can be found mostly in homes in southern Italy. Many things that the Neapolitans put their minds to ends up turning out to be a work of art in its own way. Maybe it comes from the life force of the city and the passion that was left behind by the Neapolitans and Italians before them, passed on through the history of Naples, from great thinkers, artists, actors, philosophers, poets and other amazing people that have left their mark on its history. Some came from other parts of Italy, just to feel inspired, to leave feeling inspired. Some were born and grew up to change other people's thoughts towards society and art, just like the artist from the school of Posilipo, who got together to make art and share ideas. Some great examples of people who were either Neapolitan or were inspired by Naples include Virgil, Pliny the Elder, Giovanni Battista della Porta, Enrico Caruso, Benedetto Croce, Eduardo De Filippo and Sofia Loren, amongst many others. Walking along the busy and chaotic streets of Naples, one may pass the beautiful smell of basil, tomatoes and the burning smell of firewood bread, where a pizzaiolo would make the legendary pizza that was also born in Naples. An often recounted story holds that in 1889, to honour the Queen Consort of Italy, Margherita of Savoy, the Neapolitan pizza maker Raffaele Esposito, created the Pizza Margherita, a pizza garnished with tomatoes, mozzarella and fresh basil to represent the national colours of Italy, as seen on the flag of Italy. Pizza is so worshipped there that there are even pizza competitions, events and festivals dedicated to pizza in and around Naples. Seeing the beautiful sights of Naples makes one hungry, and the Neapolitans have such a passion for food, just like their fellow Italians, that the world knows for their great skill and heart that they put into their cuisine. You would never go hungry in Campania, and it's on its streets that you will find the best street food. Visiting Naples is not only about the great cuisine, but about the atmosphere, mood and character. So many beautiful sights can be seen and experienced, from just taking your time to soak up the life of the city. Due to its fascinating history and influence, the city has been inspired by many styles in its buildings and monuments, such as the Renaissance, the Baroque period, the Greek and Roman influences, the French and Spanish invasions, and many more touches that have affected its development and character. Going to visit the Palace of Caserta, or the Roman ruins of Pompeii and Herculaneum, would remind you how much the scenes can change ever so differently from one place to another in an instant. This can be seen and felt every step of the way, and on every street there is something new to discover, from one piazza to another, to another, from a castle to a palace, 
two other important landmarks and monuments that impact the values of the Neapolitans, their morals and beliefs. There are many hidden gems in and around Naples that can only be seen from the desire to explore, such as the tomb of Virgil, or the Subterranea Napoli, whereas some places are easier to find, places that still hold the Neapolitan's most important secrets and lessons, passions and works, like the museums, an old library, and being a scientific forward people, their transport and technology, being such a great and vast city, Naples must have its own airport, that when flying into the city as a visitor, one can see the great impact of its strength as a city, even before you land, from the mountains of Vesuvius, to the amount of space it has for you to discover your next adventure. The hard work of the Neapolitan people can be seen in its food industry, that helps to boost Italy's economy. Thanks to the farmers of Campania, Italy produces some great food and other produce, for example their high quality tomatoes, dairy products from the buffalo in Salerno, olive trees for making wine and olive oil, fruits like oranges and lemons that they use to make homemade limoncello, a great liqueur from southern Italy and many other fresh vegetables for their cuisine. It goes to show that Neapolitan people are busy, hard working and dedicated, who are loyal to one another to help maintain their survival in the world, who are cultured loyal, innovative, who love and support its community and families. Naples shows us that their city and region has literally been through the wars, suffered and triumphed through the outside dangers and even internal ones like the Camorra, yet they still seem to thrive and want to prosper into a stronger future. A future that is constantly changing yet still keeping close to its heart the lessons it has learned, its traditions and mentalities. We know that many people have come and gone and somehow left their own contribution or mark on the city. Some of us may say that when you come to Naples, you cry twice, once when you arrive and once when you leave. And that concludes our video for today. We hope that you enjoyed learning about the culture of Naples and Campania. If you did, please leave a like, comment on our video with your thoughts and opinions, then click subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our new videos. Also our Patreon page is now open if you would like to support us by making a contribution to our videos, so that we can continue making them in the future. Check out the description box on the video to find out more details on how to do so. Thank you and thanks for watching everyone, see you all in the next video.